Hey everyone, my name is Demi, and in my last video I showed you guys how to make redeems on your Twitch, like the head pat redeem, and um, some other things you can do uh, within Mix It Up. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I do my zoom in function, like this, with a press of a button. Hello, I'm really close. <laughs> and uh, the cool little glow in the dark feature, like this, all within VTube Studio. So not only am I going to show you how to zoom in, but also how to set it as a keybind, so that way you can literally press it as a button on stream, just like that. So first thing you want to do is open up your settings, go to the last tab up here. This is where your key combination cards are. We're going to make a new one. So if we hit the plus button here, we're just going to call this um, center test. So before we create this, imagine where you want your model. So for this button specifically, do you want it really close up? Do you want it tucked away on the side? Do you want to put her in the center? You can make as many as you want. Um, you can even twist and turn your model. Whatever you want to do. By the way, the way I'm twisting and turning is I'm holding control and using the mouse wheel. That's how you spin your model around. Wee. But for now, I'm just going to put my model right here at the center. I'm gonna go back to that card and I'm gonna call this the center test. So the first hotkey action is actually going to be move model. The record position is the exact position where your model is right now. So that's why I put my model right at the center. And right here is where you put your key combinations. So what I like to do is I like to use my numpad as my zoom functions. I do have a stream deck, but it's just a little bit quicker for me to press those buttons, I know, ironically, but <laughs> so I'm going to put that as numpad 8 because I have some other stuff already on my other numbers. That's a free one there. And that's it. So let's exit out of this. Let me move myself over here. So theoretically, if I press numpad 8, there I go. So you can make as many as you want. I have a zoom in one and I also have one in the corner here for when I play games. Very useful. So now what I'm going to show you is something I discovered recently, which is the glow in the dark feature in VTube Studio, like this. This is really cool because what it does is you're going to find this in the camera settings. Scroll down a little bit. It's um, pretty far down here to where you see display lighting. So I'm going to go with you on how this works. So first you have your display on or off, right? That's how you turn it on and off. I'm going to show you guys how to make a button where you just press it and it works. Um, this is how many monitors I have, so I can have monitor 1, 2, 3, and so forth. Just like that. Um, but what's really cool is you can set this to a specific game that you're playing. So let's say if I'm playing Demonologist, you know, a horror game or Phasmophobia, and if you go into the light, your model will replicate the light in that game. Or if you go in the dark, your model's in the dark. So it's very cool for horror games. And so that's how you turn it on your model. And I'm going to include items here. So when I have something in my hands or like my hat or my controller, it covers the same exact lighting that I have on now. But what I'm going to show you next is how I have my eyes glowing and the flowers and such. That's something a little bit different I'm going to show you right now. So to have specific items on your model glow rather than the rest, you're going to go to the third tab up here and you go to customize model. We are going to customize scene lighting for art meshes. So all of these pieces, all of these meshes are parts of my model. So my eyes, the flower, if you hover over them, it's easier to click on. Just let me zoom in real close here. So let's say the strand of hair. Nothing's labeled, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so for that strand of hair, I can either turn it up all the way for it to match the shading of the darkness of my monitor, or I can turn it off technically and it will glow. So that's exactly what I did to my eyes here. Is instead of the eyes being in the dark, I turned it off so it looks like they're glowing in the dark. So you can do that to different pieces of your model. Um, so for mine, I did it for all the flowers and the eyes here. 
And to make this a quick little turning off and on option on your numpad or keybind, again, we're going to scroll down and make another card. Or rather, I can show you guys my card here. Where is it? So I have two cards here. One is glow in the dark to turn it on. You're going to do hotkey action, screen overlay, and it automatically records what window you have. And I have that as numpad five. And then I'm going to name this one glow in the dark off. Again, screen overlay and screen off would be your record settings. And that's my numpad six. So that way when I'm playing a game, I can just press a button and it automatically does it for me. Just like that. And that is everything I want to show you guys today. Um, actually, there's this little button up here. Um, a lot of my friends don't know about this. This uh, top left button where it's like a square with an arrow jumping out, it's actually a screenshot button. And it takes a perfect PNG of uh, what you have right now. So if you take a screenshot with a transparent background, bam, there it is. It'll be in your screenshot folder. All right, that's enough tips and tricks for me. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.